After watching a BuzzFeed video about Filipino food, my normally articulate and reasonable Facebook demeanor went from, I want people to read the latest post from Bill Morris or Robert Reich, to, fuck that. I'm gonna cause a riot on Facebook. <laughs> the, the BuzzFeed video was about the Philippine-based fast food chain Jollibee. The BuzzFeed staff was taking cheap shots at Jollibee cuisine. Little big bites, if BuzzFeed staffers said, tastes like a sandwich made by a divorced dad. <laughs> Spicy Joy Fried Chicken, said a BuzzFeed person, with generic fried chicken, but with an Asian kick. <laughs> then he added, is that messed up to say proper Asian kick? Yes, it was messed up especially if you're alluding to the Asian sidekick from the Green Hornet. The last staffer said this about Hollow Hollow. I hate it, I'm not a fan. That was the last comment about Hollow Hollow, broke that, the, the straw that broke the carabao's back. I couldn't fight this unrelenting need to start a Facebook uprising. So I posted the, the BuzzFeed video on my Facebook wall. Within moments, I flash back to my childhood. I was seven years old, sitting in the back of my parents' Subaru station wagon, driving from church along National City's famous or infamous Highland Avenue. My ate and I were excited that we were finally going to have Sunday lunch somewhere that is not our relative's house. It was a family tradition to have lunch after morning mass with our relatives or my parents' barakada. Traditionally, our lunches would be Filipino cuisine, not just the trendy pancit lumpia. At the time, we saw it as boring and non-American. Banakbet, ginugawan, sinigang, chicken adobo, and of course, the most un-American dish that plagued our childhood existences as siblings, steamed rice that came from a dispenser with Japanese scrip. Only the best Rice dispensers are Japanese. Anoba, everybody knows that. As a seven-year-old in 1986, I was bombarded by images of food we saw in family ties and growing pains. <laughs> I wanted what they were eating. I didn't know what they were eating, but I knew it wasn't what we were eating. I did know they had something like a cheeseburger with french fries. That must be American. I swear, Michael J. Fox and Kirk Hammond had at least one french fry during the show. I'm sure they may mention a burger. And if those shows were American, then whatever they ate was American. As we drove down Highland Avenue, we saw the typical automotive landscape. Clunkers with solid blue plates. I used to just stare at those cars, wondering, where are they going? And which drive through would they pull into? Dad, can we have McDonald's? Of course we can, son. <laughs> McDonald's wasn't about hamburgers. It was more. It was about a playground and a happy meal. It was about the weekday afternoon and Saturday morning commercials of Ron and McDonald chasing the hamburger with interruptions by the Thundercats defeating Mumra and back to resolving problems with Grimace. Topped off with PSA announcements by a G.I. Joe named Barbecue. The magic of Saturday mornings were wrapped in yellow and squared yellow waxy paper. Look, Ate, it's McDonald's, sticking my finger out of the half rolled down windows, poking the air towards the, those unmistakable golden arches. My 1980s montage flashback fades to a close, and I'm staring at my Facebook wall with shoulders to ears and a shift in one key smoking. Where did this Jollibee centric fire came, come from? Perhaps it came from my years of reclaiming my Filipino ness at UC Riverside. A Filipino-ness that I purposely turned my back as a teenager seemed lost in childhood, ashamed of my cultural roots with his desire to be more American. 
During those reclaiming college years, I delved into everything from Lapu Lapu to Larry Itliang. I would search for Filipino restaurants everywhere in the Southland of Los Angeles near my school. While I returned to San Diego, I engaged in community work for my kababayan. I still hanged out at my Kai Vegan's Filipino bakery to this day. I was a bored again Filipino. <laughs> Even my non-Filipino friends wanted to learn more about my ancestral cuisine from my self-professed expert like me. I would tell them about blood meat stew and bolot, which involves eating an unborn duckling directly from its shell. <laughs> now, why Jollibee? It's because anything Filipino was worth defending, even Jollibee food. <laughs> no more being ashamed. The Jollibee revolution will not be televised, <laughs> but it will take over social media. The rebellion on my Facebook while began with only two people, as all great movements do. <laughs> the first comment came from my friend, sprayed rage at those buzz feeders. That's right, buzz feeders. You're closer to a prefix change to carry on feeders, you vultures. Another friend obliterated those buzz feeders by commenting, this video shows exactly why this world is doomed. Yes, we are unstoppable. Kaya natin ito. This is more important than any other bullshit I've ever posted. This is more culturally edifying. I'm packing a bigger punch than Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> then an old college friend, fellow Filipino-American, whom I haven't seen for almost a decade, chimed in. Why are you angry? Perhaps people have different tastes. What? What an Uncle Tom Panoy. You should be outraged. <laughs> Click send. I'm starting a revolution and you're not supporting it with that comment. Righteous indignation was surging inside of me. This isn't about being Filipino. This is something more. This is about being a Jollibee American. <laughs> I was looking for Jollibee imagery to indulge in my newfound Jollibee-ness. Seeing image search results for Jollibee, food images appeared. My Jollibee centricism started to taper off. The food just look, looked just like McDonald's food. Even the packaging. Wait. Was, Jolli was eating Jollibee in the Philippines similar to eating McDonald's in America? Oh, man. This must end. How do I stop these drums of war? <laughs> I deleted my post in all 10 comments. <laughs> the last comment to that post was a non-Filipino friend saying that BuzzFeed adds a bit of Humorous shtick of being judgmental towards anything. I politely click, like. <laughs> Arriving back to my senses, perhaps it's an issue to put at rest for now. Now it's time to flood my wall with other news and thoughtful comments from distinguished expert commentators. <laughs> yes, what about that minimum wage these days?